Hi guys, it's Lily. Um, I got some cool stamps in the post today. Um, this is the crazy thing about buying craft stuff in this country. Um, if you buy um, stamps like uh, Tim Holtz, um, Stampers Anonymous, that, that kind of thing, um, you know, Ranger stuff, you're probably looking at about £20 for um, a sheet like, you know, like these, like the cling ones, you know, these guys. Um, you're looking at around about £20. Some of them can even go up to £25. Um, I have found an eBay seller who sells them for £11 and something pence. So, um, you can get two, you know, for the price of what you would pay normally over here. But here's the thing, right? They offer free shipping. You know, it's, a, it's an online, um, online eBay seller. Did I say eBay seller? I don't even remember. Okay, they're on eBay. Obviously, eBay's online, right? Um, so, their shipping is free, right? So, you don't pay for shipping at all. Postage and packaging, and nada, right? But they're in Brooklyn. If you don't know where Brooklyn is, one, buy yourself an atlas, and two, it's in New York, okay? And New York is in America, right? So it's over here, then we have huge ocean, and then I'm here in England, okay? So it is cheaper for me to buy it in Brooklyn and then not pay postage and have it sent all the way over to England than it is to buy it from a store in my own country. What is that about? It's just it's just weird. Well, anyway, you know, I as weird as it is, if it means I get a bargain, then I get a bargain. Woohoo! Um, but it does mean that I can buy two for the price of one. So um, who would not buy two for the price of one? Hello? Um, so yeah, anyway, it's obviously taken a little while to get all the way from Brooklyn to England. Um, so I've been waiting kind of patiently. That's a lie. I'm not patient. You guys know I'm not impatient. I'm, I am impatient even. Yeah, I don't do patience. Um, so it's taken about two weeks, but I know that there's a load of snow and ice and, and stuff going on you know it looks like the day after tomorrow or something over there right now so uh i can understand that you know it's going to take a while anyway um i'm going to stop rambling and i'm going to show you the ones that i got they're all um diane reevely ones um you know the dilutions this thing no not that thing this well this, this, without the glare. There we go. Yes? Dilutions by Diane Reevely. Yeah, that, right. Um, I have... I had two of her sets already. Um, this is one of them which I think I've shown you before. Um, I know that I have stamped them and, um... You know, shown you the stamped out parts because... This bit was used um, in my art journal page that I showed you ages ago. Um, anyway, so I have this one, and this one's called Pondering Petunia. Um, so I already had that one, and because I keep them all in here, look, and it's got a little uh, hang tag, so I know what is in it, and then that lives up on my shelf. Ta-da! So I know what is where. Anyway, um, so I had that one, and I had this one, which you've also seen um, on a page that I did, um, and this one is called Strength, and you can also get them um, in a larger size, and you just get two of the ladies, so they're like big, so that's on my, my want list for the future. Because um, I really like these. They're cool. So I already had those two. Um, and then I got these. I think I have one more on its way. So I'm hoping that that's going to arrive on Monday. Um, 
it's Saturday today. So hopefully that will arrive on Monday. Um, I've already started playing with them and I'll show you what I've been doing. But we have this one. This is called The Right Words. So we have um, Smile. It's the key that fits the lock of everybody's heart. A friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words. What appears to be the end is usually the start of a new beginning. Every now and then life needs to be turned upside down to get back to the right way up. You made no dramatic gestures, gave no solemn lectures, you simply made the tea and fetched the biscuit tin. Which is going to appeal to, uh, to me, obviously. Mainly for the biscuits, but you know, it, it's uh, every English person's right to be obsessed with tea. I'm not obsessed with tea, my husband's obsessed with tea, but yeah, we, that's what we drink. Um, I'm perfect just the way I am. Hmm. Yeah, it's open for debate. Um, being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect, it means you decide to see beyond the imperfections. It's better to take a risk than miss a moment of magic. Enjoy the little things in life, for one day you'll look back and realise they were the big things. You can't have everything, where would you put it? Well, that's a good point, but you can try. So, um, and they look like this on the back. I haven't played with this one yet, but obviously you can stamp it and then cut them apart. Um, if you wanted to, you could cut out individual letters or individual words and then make up your own sentiments in like a a ransom note styly, which I might give that a go. That's a good idea. So we have that one. And then we have this one, which is called Right Up Your Street. And I've had a little play with a couple of these as well today. So this is what they look like. Um, so yeah, I've used this one and that one, and I'll show you what I did with it in a minute. So they are rather cool. And then we have this one. This one, oh, getting caught on my cameo. And this one is called Doodle Parts. And I have been playing with this one. I really like this one. I really like them all, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. But this one um, I've used quite a bit since it arrived today. I did a couple of hours of just playing around with art stuff. And this one, which is called Curious Corinne. And then she's got, you know, you could take these legs off and and put those on. Maybe she's going out and she wants heels. I don't know. Um, and then you've got different heads and eyes and hands. And I really like this eye, actually. I used that on a project earlier as well. Um, so we have that one. And then we have this one, which is called Dependable Dotty. And again, you've got the different eyes, different heads, um, another set of legs. And of course, I am going to like the skulls. So I like that there is two different plain ones. And then there's this awesome one that's got um, like a newsprint book page in the background. So that's pretty cool. And they all have hands. Um... I like the fact that all the hands are different, so you know you're not getting repeats. If like me, you're you're collecting the ones with like the the people on it, um, you know you don't don't get repeats. All the eyes are different, all the hands are different. So um, yeah, it's it's a small haul, and like I said, I think I've got another set coming in the post at the moment. So. Um, I'm sure you'll you'll see that when it arrives, which I am very much looking forward to. Um, I'll show you quickly what I've been doing in here. Obviously, you've seen. Um... Okay, I'm back. Um, again, I still haven't got a bigger battery for my camera because they're very expensive. So. Um, I just have to juggle between these three little ones and sometimes I then run out in between talking to you, as you already know. So anyway, um, like I said, you saw, let's move that a bit, you saw what I did with this, um, 
I've not done anything to it since. Um, I may do that in a minute actually. I might colour in with some pencils, you know, the bones and stuff. Um, and then put... What was I going to use? The multimedia gloss medium, whatever you want to call it, wasn't I? So I might put all of that on, um, you know, just to protect it. But um, I will say that the glue stick that I used, stick this down, considering it went on top of, um, you know, I, I already put the, the gloss medium on. Considering it's stuck to that and it's also stuck to um, duct tape, it is, it's proper on there. So um, I'm quite pleased with that actually. And that was, that was the, the good old trusty glue sticks from Asda. They don't sell the big ones anymore, which I am pretty gutted about. Um, but every now and then I buy like multi packs of, of the smaller ones. Um, which I'm sure I've shown you before. I don't have one to hand. Hang on. This little guy. Um, I buy several packs of these um, now and then just so I don't run out because it is the best glue that I have found. So um, that's like size difference. So this is the one that stays on my desk. I have a basket with... Um, all the like tools and stuff that I use, you know, all the time. The most used stuff lives um, in a basket on my desk. Um, so one of those lives in there, and this little guy lives in my pencil case. So there we have it. So we'll we'll put him back in there. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, I was showing you what I've done. Um, so all of that's the same. You've seen that. You've seen that page. Um, did I show you this page? Yes, I did. Because I remember talking about the uh, the tattoo, temporary tattoo thing. Um, so I did this one today. Um, let me see if... Is that better? Let's fix the glare. It's a little darker in here now. But there, I've, I've got a, a lamp um, up there it's attached to my shelf um which is great for you know as a working light but it's it's glaring off of this so um these are the um the stamps that i just showed you and um, these ones and the one up here are all off of the um what's it called doodle parts or something don't don't all shout at once yeah doodle parts um so yeah, um, this was actually, I was playing around with my gelatos. You know, every time I say that, I can hear minions. It's, it, yeah, anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, so I was playing around with them, and this one up here, I was trying to do um, a technique I'd seen um, on a YouTube video somewhere where you put the stencil down, you know, you, you do your background, then you put the stencil down and then you use a baby wipe to rub through the stencil um, to remove it. So like a reverse stencil, it's probably got a proper name and I don't know what it is. Um, but it really didn't work very well because, well, I think it's because I used um, a baby wipe to smear in you know, to smear in, to blend, that's the posh word, right? Blend, um, the background, and then I used it again, and it just started to peel the, um, the card underneath, you know, it, it just didn't like it at all, so I think maybe that's why it happened, um, but it was sat there on my desk, and I thought, I don't really want to chuck it out, you know, I can do something with it, so it ended up going in here, and then I stamped over it, with this um, awesome toadstool stamp and uh, and then I just coloured in the little dots with uh, my Uniball Signo white pen um, which I'm back in love with. I fell out of love with it for a while because it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, I have since apologised and realised it's because I was too heavy handed with it. So. Um, 
it it needs to be treated gently obviously um so yeah we're friends again so um yeah that's that's what i've been using on there if i just pick up a tripod and show you no because you're just going to get shadow that's not going to work all right scrap that we'll just look at it from this way um this um thing what would you call this it's like a it's kind of like a cabochon-y thing you know it's got the the epoxy um you know resiny type thing over the top my brain doesn't want to work um anyway it's like a sentiment does it tell me on the packaging no because that would be too oh hello no, Tim's words, clearly yours. Anyway, it came off of this sheet um, that Cheetah sent me. Hi, Cheetah! Um, if you have watched my exceedingly long first ever haul video, then you will know that she sent me these. So, um, I thought it was time I started playing with some of it rather than it just sitting there looking pretty. So, um, I've got one up here that says Harmony. Um, I used some fabric tape um which i got i'm really really pleased with actually you get quite a lot on a roll um usually this is really expensive here you're sort of looking about three or four pounds this was a pound and it was the last one so i am super excited that i got this one so i stuck that down and then i have used some of this other tape which is like a pvc effect you know, fake tooled leather kind of a thing. It, it's very touchy-feely, it's all embossed. Um, so that's what makes the border around it. And then I drew around the outside with a alcohol marker and then put some of the um, Uniball Signo pen on the top of that. So that's what's going on there. Um, this is a 3D-like chipboard you can see da -da. um and i put uh one of these this is also um something that the lovely cheetah sent me so i put one of them around here if you can see a bit of sparkle and then we've got one here with the button in it and then one here with the bigger button in it and another one of those, there we go, one of those word stickery things. Um, I did use some gelatos in the background and then just used a baby wipe to sort of blend them in a bit. Um, I did a bit of just messing around up here. I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it filled the space and I quite like it. Um, with some alcohol markers and then obviously the white gel pen over the top and the same up here and then this one um, was also sat on my desk it's another gelato background and uh and you know I, I got my new stamps and i thought hmm i wonder if i can do something with this so i did um what, like i said all of these were off of the doodle parts one and then i used the signo pen again on top of that um and just kind of loosely sketched around the outside with um, two different colours of orange pens as well. So um, it's a bit of a, a hodgepodge, to be honest. Um, like this section kind of goes together and this section kind of goes together. This bit goes better with that, but what are you going to do? Um, it wasn't really thought out. It was just playing around. Um, it's in the mixed media section of my art journal um, and it's mixed media. So, you know, <laughs> it does what it says on the tin. Um, I don't remember if I told you or not, but I have got three signatures in this book um, and they are set out for three different purposes. So the first one is the mixed media section. The second one is the um Sentangle doodle style and then the third one 
is colouring with um, ink tense pens, uh, pens, ink tense pencils, and then halfway through that, the other half is my um, kawaii sketching kind of thing. Um, so that's that's the method to my madness. Well, part of it anyway. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that was just a blank page um, because then I did the double paid. Pay. Let's try that again. Double page um, gothic spread, and I went back in with my uh, grey and silver gelatos and um, just darkened out the background a little bit so that it wasn't that sort of bright. Um, gingerbread colour um, and these are the other two that I have done today we have got this one um, again I used the gelatos in the background and smeared them out with a baby wipe and um, then stamped this obviously on a separate piece of paper and corner rounded it because I'm obsessed with my corner rounder um, and then just coloured that in again with the gelatos um, I have been cutting up a baby wipe and then wrapping it around my finger. Um, don't have one to show you, but right, here's a piece of kitchen towel. We are going to pretend that this is baby wipe, okay? So snip, snip, snip. I've cut it, snip, snip, snip. So you cut it into like four or something, um, and then you would wrap that around your finger. And then you can get in and smudge, you know, and you've got a lot more. Um, what is the word I want? A lot more control over it. You know, it's not so much like a free for all. So um, that's that's my tip. And also it's more economical. You know, your baby wipes go a lot further because you're only using a, a small portion of it rather than the whole thing every time. So um, that's what I've done. Um, why is there a, a domed sparkly sticker here? Who knows? It was just randomly stuck to something on my desk. Like, well, not purposefully stuck to something, but I, I picked up a scrap piece of card and it was dangling off the edge of it. So I stuck it here. That's the story. That's exactly why it's there. Um, again, stamped in archival because that's the only ink I use. And then all of this around here... Um, obviously the swirly arrows um, are from the doodle part stamp and why didn't I just leave that out that would have been a better plan no, it's, it's Lee's really really good planning for these things um, uh, down here let's move it up down here um, is a mixture of all three leaf stamps um, as you can see, so you've got the larger one, the small um, cluster of three, and then singular ones that I've just kind of put to fill in the gaps. Um, and then the single one is what I've used up here in the corner. Um, so that's that one. And then we have this one. Um, in my uh, Facebook group, my Fobonichi Facebook group, not that I have a Fobonichi, but you know, you don't have to, to, uh, to be part of it, thankfully. Um, the, uh, the theme for Friday, okay, I'm a little bit late, it's Saturday. Um, Friday is um, draw it day, so you, if you want to, you know, you don't have to, um, but if you want to, every week there's a different theme for something to try and draw because some of the ladies in the group um, don't think they're very good at drawing or would like um, practice with drawing, things like that. So Friday is draw it day. Um, and this week it was eyes. And I've not had the best week, to be honest. Um, there's been a lot of dizziness and sickness. Um, my friend Lynn, hi Lynn, um, has termed it kissing the floor because I keep fainting. Um, so I haven't had much in the way of sort of inclination to do art stuff. So all of this week's prompts have kind of gone by the wayside, unfortunately. Um, but once my new stamps came in today and fingers crossed so far today, um, bearing in mind it is now, what is it now? 
just gone half past six in the evening um, in the UK. So, so far today, um, I've not kissed the floor again. So, you know, that's good. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, I decided to uh, to shut myself away in here and do some arty stuff, and uh, and that's where the whole eyes thing kind of came about, because um, with the stamps, you know, like I said, you get lots of different um, things. You know, you get the different eyes here. Um, there's those eyes, and then that one that I really like, and. Um, where are you hiding? There she is. Um, those, those eyes as well. Um, I was playing around. What I was originally going to do was I was going to cut them all out individually and do something with them. Um, but as it happened, I quite liked it as it as it looked. Um, it started out on white paper. Again, I used my gelatos in the background in um, starting with a dark blue and sort of varying into the middle. Um, and then stamped the corner ones and then I stamped her um, and these on a piece of white paper which is from my whoops sorry just hit you around the head um, a5 sketch pad these are fantastic um, if you are in the UK and you have a, um, a store called the works near you I don't know if they're throughout the whole of um, the UK because I live in uh, in the south um, on the south coast but we have quite a few um, dotted around my kind of local area you know sort of give or take like 20 miles um, so yeah if, if you have um, any in your area um, or they have a website which is on the bottom here ta-da you might want to check this out. It's um, white cartridge paper. It's 130 GSM, which is the weight of it. You get 72 sheets. Um, this is a pound, people. This, <laughs> this is I've I've pulled like three sheets out of this, I think. But this is a pound. One, one. You know, you go out. You you want to buy like a coffee or a tea. You won't get it for a pound. You know, go buy this instead. So yeah, um, that's what I what I stamped this on, and I was going to cut it all out and make it a collage, but I changed my mind because I thought it looked quite cool. As you can see, you know that was the top of the page, and then it came down, you know, as as A5 paper would do. So um, I quite liked it as it was. So I still cut hair out separately, um, and then this one which I stuck up here. Um, and that one, which is kind of hiding underneath her boots, was separate. Um, but I liked how it filled the page um, as it is. So again, it was the gelatos that I um, spread out with baby wipes again. So all of these, you've got this nice um, blending effect in certain areas. Hang on, let's, let's move you a bit closer. And then zoom in and see if I can show you, like here. And all I did was, um, I just loosely coloured, no, wrong way, there we go. Might help if you looked at the direction on the top of your zoom. Um, yeah, I just like loosely coloured in the, the boxes that the eyes were in. But when I came to smearing it out, you know, it all blended in together. Um, and then I used the uh, Signo gel pen to do the whites of the eyes, which I thought came out really well. And then coloured her in. Um, I used a couple of different things for her. Um, all the bits that look a bit more sketchy. I don't know if you can see that the lines aren't perfect. Um, they're a bit scribbly. They're supposed to look like that. I'm not like got the colouring ability of a three-year-old they are supposed to look like that I was using my um, pilot juice pens which are the 0.38 tip so they're very thin um, so that's what it her hair um, her lips 
um, the spots and her uh, tights are. And this bit here, it just made me think of Kermit the Frog. You know, Kermit the Frog's got this like like thing on on his neck. Yeah, I'm sure you know what I mean. If you don't, go Google Kermit the Frog images and you'll see what I mean. That is why this had to be lime green, because it just said Kermit the Frog to me. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I used um, my... I don't know. What did I use? What did I use, people? Do you know? I don't know. Um, it was these the Stabilo Pen 68s. Um, I do like those. So that coloured in this bit of the dress, the darker bit of the dress, um, and the bit down here. No, it didn't. This was paper mate flare. I tell you, I tell you lies. Um, that was paper mate flare, and but the uh, pen sixty eights were the boots. These, um, and then her skin, um, and this this you know separate bit for the eyes. I coloured in with alcohol markers um, and it came out really well. I'm really pleased with that actually. And then I sketched around it loosely with a silver alcohol marker. Um, and then I just went to town with a just basic, um, yeah, you can see my, I'm wrapped in a blanket. It's so cold in here. Um, one of these, where is it called? It's just an ultra fine. Um, pen that looks like yeah, you know, it's one of those. It's a fine liner, but it's not a posh like a micron or anything. This is just my my go to sketchy make a mess kind of pen. Um, so I kind of sketchy doodled around all the boxes and then around her as well. So it looked a bit messy, I suppose. Um, and then I got some of my alpha stickers out. You can see where that's I created a mask, which looks kind of cool. Um, got some of my alpha stickers out and uh, and stamped, stamped, stuck them down, and doodled around them both in the black fine liner and the white signo. Um, and the same with these. And that was the end of that. So. Um, that's what's kept me amused today. Those, what is it, three pages? Three? Yeah, three pages and uh, the touch up of the double page spread for the, the goth girls. So that is those. Um, the other thing I'll tell you very quickly is um, with the you know Zentangle doodly things, I have been using... Um, Project Life cards. Hang on a second, I'll grab them. Oh. I don't know what makes more noise when I get up this chair or my bones. Uh, these Project Life cards, there's a hundred in a packet and they're the grid cards. Um, I have been using these to do my doodles, you know, Zentangle, whatever you want to call it, on. Um, as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, you know, the whole white space syndrome, I, I know, <laughs> just look at it and then you don't know what to do with it. Um, so having a smaller card like this, it's not so scary to, to think about what you're going to put on it. Um, and it's a quicker, you know, it's a quicker doodle to do as well. Doodle do. Yeah, anyway, um, swiftly moving on. Oops. Use the tab. Lee, that's that's a good idea. You know, there's tabs you've got. Um, so yeah, this is another one that I've done. Um, so yeah, that's that's a tip if you don't want to start with a completely blank page or a large page. Um, pick up a couple of these or cut them out to be this size if you have grid paper or well, it doesn't have to be grid paper, but it's kind of handy for some of the. Uh, the designs um and it's yeah it's not so daunting to uh to do a page um i also did this one which is quite cute um and these two and the little heart was using this stamp um that i showed you from my scrapbook.com haul so 
so I use this one, this one, and this one. Uh, so there is that. Um, was that all of them? Oh yeah, and there was this one. So I just used a piece of tape um, so that I can, you know, I've got space now, I can do another one on there if I want to, and then it didn't cover up all of these bits as well. So um, it made like a little tip-in thing. Um, I don't know if I showed you, you probably remember this one, this was one of the first ones I did, um, but I didn't want to just have one on a page, so I backed it, half backed it, so that I could have two in one place. If I already showed you that, then I'm sorry, but I have the memory of a goldfish. So, um, yeah, if maybe you haven't already seen this, maybe, maybe you have. Either way, yeah, now you've seen it again. Um, so, yeah, that's those. Um... That one's one of my favourites, I think. Um, and I've also got where I messed up and did the uh, the tabs wrong. I made little pockets. Um, on. So this one, whoops, I've cut down and put a little uh, pool tab thing on. It's a bit, it's a bit stiff. Yeah, anyway, well, it goes in there. Um, and then I've got another little thing. That there is one there. Okay, just <laughs> just just take my word for it. There is another one there. Um, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Um, yeah, because I messed up. I ended up making a pocket. Um, so this bit is the uh, the ones that I've done with in. Tense pencils, and um, those are Julie Nutting dolls stamps, um, and then this one, which I've probably shown you. I've just got one of these whirly paper clips, but this one was um, the Bloom Girl stamps um, that I also coloured in with my ink tents. Um, and again, I wanted to be able to put some more here and on the back of here which is why it's not stuck down and it's got like a little flappy thing so um, that's what that is um, I've still got some to stick in but these fold out like this and then like that and then like that and like that so I could fit lots of the girl stamps in one space on one page because as much as I love them I didn't want all of it to be that's wrong isn't it I don't like that I didn't want the whole book to be um, you know prima doll stamps so um, but these these loose ones will be going on this page um, eventually. She's not been stuck in yet. Uh, she was a printout from a uh, like an adult colouring book. Um, I've been trying to photocopy some of them, and it's not going very well um, with my home photocopier, um, or the printer. You know, one of those three-in-one printers. Um, it went a bit skew if and it didn't fit on the page properly so I ended up cutting around it and sticking that in so that will be coloured in with ink tank <laughs> somebody passing my teeth let's try that again ink tense pencils uh, so she is she's looking off um, into the distance wondering when on earth I'm going to get around to colouring her in um, then I have these which I don't remember if I um, showed them to you or not but I started doing um, some cute little kawaii sketchy things and then uh, this is another piece of that first ever gelato background which has been sat on my desk wondering what it was going to be used for um, and that was just a cute little kawaii drawing that I did last time 
last time last year sometime there we go let's try that again um that i stuck on there so i will put something inside i don't know what yet um and then this one um is me self-portrait i felt like drawing something i didn't know what to draw so i drew a cartoon me so that's what that is um and again she's stuck in with this fabric tape so that's everything in here um there's a few more pages left to do um but that's as far as i've got so yeah that's about it was there anything else i needed to tell you anything else i wanted to show no not that i can think of okay well there we go then you've seen what has been keeping me amused today um and you have seen my funky stamps that arrived as well and what i've done with them and using you know what i used them with is that a, a, a sentence that makes sense who knows okay um i'm gonna leave it there then and uh and go and make dinner for the masses because i'm gonna get the whole what are we having for dinner i'm hungry that kind of thing so um yeah uh let me know what you think of my pages that i've done and uh you know the drill by now like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you later guys bye